Hi, hi everyone. Welcome to Colette's Thermic Kitchen. My name is Colette Nutriga. I am a Thermomix consultant here in Australia with many, many customers all over Australia. Um, now, if you're thinking of getting a TM6, upgrading your TM5 to a TM6 or trading in your 31, please reach out. I'd love to support you. Now, tonight for dinner, we are having fish with ginger lime sauce. We have over 90,000 recipes on the Thermomix that you can choose for. And the great thing is that many of those are ready to eat in um, about half an hour. So time in the kitchen is fun, easy, super clean, and very yummy. So let's get started. So start cooking. It's a fully guided uh, Thermomix recipe. So it's telling me, first of all, to place a thermal server on the bowl and to pop in there some dried noodles. So I'm just using Mr. Chang's Good old noodles tonight. I've got the thick ones rather than thin. I quite like these ones. Um, and what I have actually done already is I have popped into my thermos server the noodles and some boiling water. And I'm going to leave those to cook. Now, if you haven't yet got a thermos, uh, a thermos server, please reach out. You can get these by hosting a demo with me. And I'd love to um, tell you more about that. So they are absolutely wonderful for all sorts of things. All right, so we've done that. We've added the boiling water. So now we're on to the actual recipe. So tiring back my scale. Remember with the TM6, the scales weigh in one gram increments. Really cool. So the first thing it's asking me to do is to pop in about 15 grams of sesame oil. So that's going in. Yum. And next, three centimeter piece of ginger. So that's going to go in next. And we, it's asking for three spring onions, which have been cut in half, which is perfect. Now, I've also added a couple more aromats. So I've added a bit of garlic and a little bit of, chi of chili because we love those in our food, don't we, Andrew? Yes. And it's telling me how to pop the lid on. So easy, all step by step. You don't even have to think. So it's going to go for three seconds. And it's telling me to turn the dial around to this little mark, which is speed seven. So that's the little mark indicating where I need to aim for, and that's speed seven. Okay, next. All right, so scraping down the side of the bowl. So let's have a little look at what we've got. Yum, all those flavors, all those aromats are gonna be just amazing. So just scraping them down. So we've got the oil in here already. And of course, the next step is that it is going to cook these for me. So I'm going to hit next. Oh, no, it needs me to add a few more bits. So, tar that back. So we're going to add in some tamari. You can add soy sauce if you prefer. So 50 grams of tamari has gone in. Never heard of that. What is tamari? It's, it's just like a, it's a Japanese soy sauce. You, you, you have it lots and lots, but you probably don't know it's there. It's, um, it's pretty cool. Now, you will know this one, Andrew. It's one of your favorites that you add to everything. Fish sauce? Yes, fish sauce. Going in, 10 grams. If I make scrambled eggs, I put fish sauce in, and mm -hmm. it is delish. We used to live near a Chinese lady who taught me how to do that. 60 grams of beautiful runny honey. So just oh, I see where you're going with that, runny honey. Runny honey. Okay. And now... We're going to get the juice of one lime. So just going to squeeze this down, get my little chopping board. And this is the um, lime zester or the lemon zester from the mix shop. I love it, it's really heavy. From the ones I've had in the past, the paint always peels off and I end up having to buy new ones. So this is wonderful. It's not painted, it's just wonderful. So the juice of one lime, that's going to add that lovely acidity. I love these actually, they're pressed because you get so much juice out of them. Hitting next. Okay, so now we can go and it's telling me to go without the measuring cup. And off we go now for five minutes. Speed to 100 degrees. Right. I'm going to pop these to one side. 
Now the next thing that we're going to do is um, I want to know what the next step of the recipe is so I can do this for the next five minutes. So you can continue, but I'm just going to press these three dots. I'm going to bring up the recipe. I'm going to go down to where we've got to. Whoa. All right, so now it's telling me to basically add in, so you can read that through and you can carry on with the steps. But basically what it's telling me to do is into a Ziploc bag to place a couple of tablespoons of flour, corn flour and some uh, Szechuan pepper and some salt. Now, it's half a teaspoon of Szechuan pepper. These guys are incredibly hot and um, you want to just um, grind them down with a pestle of water or a, a rolling pin or something like that. Um, but these are in there and it's just going to give this a little taste. If you have one of these raw, you'll go through a whole range of flavours. You know, eventually you'll get to that citric flavour, but you'll end up with a little bit of numbing on your tongue and lips. It, it, lips it's, it, they're wonderful things actually. We love, um, we love Sichuan Chinese food. Yes, absolutely. Nice and peppery and spicy. And then the recipe tells me to, I'm just going to put this heat up here, Andy. And I'm just going to check There she goes. Seven. Okay, I'm back again. Director's nightmare. All right. So now what it's telling me to do is to put two pieces of fish. So I've got some barramundi tonight. Um, but you can use whatever fish you particularly like. And into the bag, just slip it up. And then we're just going to shake it to, to cover this. So I'm just doing the two pieces of fish. Uh, the recipe is for four. And of course you can quite easily double this recipe and you've got that lovely sizing option. So let's take this over to the fry pan and get this fish on the go. So I've got my pan, I've got some oil in there and I have got, uh, this is going to be a little bit hot to begin with. Beautiful, we want that sizzle. And I'm going to start that cooking process. Oh, the extractor pan. Yeah, if you worked, out, you, you worked out how to use the... Um, keep it on low. Okay, put it on number one. It's supposed to come on automatically. I, I do actually, I must admit, whenever I fry... It's supposed to come on automatically. I know, I've got to fix it. I've got to set it up. I, I normally do my... I'm frying like this outside in our outdoor kitchen because we don't particularly like those smells. But, um, so that's going to go, probably, as I said, about... About four minutes each side, something like that, and then we are good. We've got a timer. Um, hey Google, set timer for four minutes. Okay, four minutes. And that's starting now. Excellent. All right. So everyone who's watching this, their Google timers are all being set. Yep. Any questions from anybody? How is everybody going in Thermoland? All good? So yes, Shireen, this is on Cookie Doo. Yeah, this is a, a cookie dough recipe. Um, I'm just going to cut some cheeks of lime just to serve. Um, sometimes what I do with this recipe, I'll add some chicken stock into this mix and I'll cook, add a couple of other little aromats and make a broth. So rather than have the sauce with these noodles, I turn it into a broth. And it's just lovely slurping up all that beautiful um, noodles with that lovely aroma. I tell you, if, if it's this, the aroma that is coming out of this, really? it is fabulous. So look, these are my herbs. These are now, I think, coming up to week four. Some of them are probably ready to go, but they, yeah, like some of them are ready to go, but... Four weeks you've had them. I know, it's, it's pretty incredible, whereas I used to... to and actually this is because this vacuum sealed. I love, and thank you everyone, I know you've all been getting these, and I've had some fantastic feedback from everybody. I can't just believe how wonderful it is. So we're going to do a quick check over here, and then let's have a little look at this fish. That looks good, fine. What's the oil you're cooking in? Um, I've chosen peanut oil today, but a grape seed, a peanut, a canola, or something like that. In other words, not olive oil, um, because it's cooking at, at um, a high, a medium high heat. Um, and I don't want that olive oil flavor coming through, because it really doesn't go with all these Asian aromats. I want to go with something else. Okay. So while we're doing that, oh, that's just about finished, so we can head off to the next. All right. So now you can see... 
the benefit of pre-reading a recipe so you can get on and do things. So now it's telling me to line a plate, which I've done, and put the fry pan on, the corn flour, the plain flour, the special on pepper, and adding it, adding the fish in. And now working in batches, cooking it three to four minutes, and then we're going to transfer it onto a plate to drain. So I've already started all that. I mean, um, how quick is that? I know, so quick. <laughs> so now it's telling me to, to drain my noodles. So I'm going to go over here. I really can't remember how long the packet's noodles on for. They might not quite be done. One of the things is when you're using your thermos server to cook your pasta or your noodles, what you want to do is remember the timer. So if this was 10 a, you would check your packet um, or check a time that you normally cook that penny for on top of your hob and you do exactly the same but it's cooking in here. So I think these will be just give that a little bit more. Like this. And Flip those over, looking good. And that's not so good. Okay, keep those going. Was there anything in the thermi behind you there? Because it's just switched off. No, I'm, I'm about to do a, 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 a whole chicken. Um, and um, Andrew loves to take a bit of chicken in to work. So um, he likes to rip off a leg or a thigh and take it in. <laughs> you do. You do. Yeah. So I've cooked your eggs today in the thermomix. And I am going to be cooking that chicken up tonight. Thank you. Good. Thank you. That's all right. I'm just going to check. Keep going my low carb at the moment. I can feel it not quite done yet. I've got to get my swing trunks on for Thermafest. <laughs> so got, that's got to be 10 kilos. Hey Google, hey Google, stop countdown. Hey Google, countdown four minutes. Google's being very naughty, lady. Hey Google, stop. Google, set timer for four minutes. So, while we're doing that, I'm just going to have a taste of my sauce. Didn't, didn't do it. Hey Google, set timer for four minutes. Sure, four minutes. And we're now. That's it. Do as you're bleeding told. <laughs> so, you can see here, this is going to be just a lovely sauce that is going to actually drain. So, is that finished? Yep, we're just going to taste it. Thank you. Those Asian flavours. That, that smacks, smacks you. It smacks you in the face. No. More sugar? No. No. Okay. No. That is wow. Okay. That is pungent. That is powerful. When I started cooking this. What? I don't like ginger. I don't, I don't like ginger. lime. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Private conversation. All right, so we're just waiting for that, um, and the fish nearly done. So you know that's that's one of the most beautiful things of the film, and it does so many thousands of really quick meals that you can make. So the idea is is that you can actually plan these with the meal planning um, capabilities of the thermomix. And what you can actually then do is you come home from work, drop your bag. Click on uh, your weekly plan, go to Monday. You've chosen something that you know is going to take you about 15 minutes in the kitchen. Is that before or after the, bo the bottle of shard now? Oh, you, that's during. <laughs> um, in the kitchen, and then um, you, you can get that going, and then you can head off, supervise the kids for homework, um, and just it's just a much more enjoyable skip time. And the thing is, because it's so easy, you're going to cook much healthier food, which is going to be just delicious. All right, so let's have a little look here. and turn this one over. Nearly there, I reckon. Now for the six minutes. So remember, you had about half a teaspoon of those special peppers in that crust, so it's not a huge amount. You don't like the chef pepper, and you could just use black pepper, white pepper, whatever you like. Okay, just a bit of a little mix. Check these noodles. Check this one out. Ooh. Pepper. 
Bit too al dente. Mm -hmm. Nearly there. Okay. So while we're waiting, why not talk about the offers at the moment to fill them in? <laughs> so remember, we don't have a lot of time for, for really these, these really cool offers. We've got 36 months interest free. So if you haven't got a film mix or if you are thinking of upgrading, it's only going to cost you about $18.80 a week. You will absolutely save that much with your cooking, definitely. Um, you've got the choice at the moment between getting the beautiful white or the black and uh, sparkling film mix, which is rather beautiful with those rose gold accents. And you will get free either the white glide board or the black glide board with the thermomix. They're valued at 149 plus, plus, you get $140 to spend in our mix shop and whatever you want. So you could grab yourself my favorite. I call this my magic wand. It's just an incredible thing. I use it multiple times a day now. And it's absolutely fabulous. So this is the lightsaber that goes with the Darth Vader <laughs> thermomix. Really, really cool. All right, so I'm just going to check these. I think these will be. Yeah, it's got to be ready because I'll carry on cooking for a while, won't I? Yeah. All right, let's go. Hey, Google, stop counting. Stop. <laughs> Who's the phone? Oh, my goodness, thanks. It used to always be so good. All right, so I'll have to do that in a minute. So these here I think will be fine. So what I'm going to do now is I've just popped my Varoma in the, in the sink here. And I'm just going to take these noodles into the Varoma. Add that as a colander. Get off all that water. Pop these back in. And then I'm going to pour, as the recipe tells us, to pour the sauce over the noodles and just basically combine all of that. Now, Maria, you're right, it's a she. Is that a machine? A she, the Google's a she. doesn't do what it's bleeding told. Oh, Andrew, don't get yourself into trouble one day when you're thinking like that. Okay, so that's all now. That you is going to be fantastic. Tasty, so I'm just going to stick that back on. And dinner will be just about ready. Let me get around a little cloth. It's getting a bit messy. Yeah, where's she going? I'm sorry, honey. Oh, dear. All right, so let's plate up, shall we? I have here a, a lovely bowl. And what I am going is to that do a lovely bowl? Is that a lovely bowl? It's only your lovely bowl. Yeah, that's very lovely, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, into the plate. I mean, how quick is this to make, guys? It's just so, so quick. Slurpy bit of noodles. So remember, rather than try and, and, and turn all this, just turn the plate. And then I'm just going to get that mess out of the way. It's quite a large portion of noodles, actually. A little bit of that extra sauce. Tidy this up again later. I'll come to some of that sauce, please. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then I'm going to pop a piece of fish on top. Oh, wow. That is. And then just to finish this off, on top of the fish, what we're going to do is to put a little mixture of green. So here we've got some chilies, um, some bean sprouts, some coriander, and a bit of um, Thai basil. And then on, and then that's basically a little bit of lemon on the side just to serve. Even the, the other lemon. Lime. <laughs> what dinner. were those noodles called? These ones are Mr. Yeah, Mr. Uh, Mr. Chang. Mr. Chang. Where'd you get those from? In Woolies. Yes. And they have thick or thin. They last so forever. Egg noodles. And they're ready in 10 minutes. So they're really great standby. I must show you one day how to make wheat noodles in the thermomix. It's really surprisingly not hard. So let's have a little taste um, of this, which I think is going to be absolutely delicious. So look at that fish, everybody. How beautiful is that? Still moist and gorgeous inside. Oh. 
this is one of those slurpy, awkward dinners, isn't it? It's so okay. Spaghetti. You, you're <laughs> supposed to make, go into a Japanese restaurant in, or in Japan, and it's customary to mm. um, make a slurping noise. It's rather wonderful. Mm. Really sharp in the lime. The fish is just beautiful. I can't wait to get all of those aromatics and greens on top of it as well. So, do you, know, do you know that barramundi is cooked perfectly? Yay! Doesn't take long, Not mushy. It? It's just. It's a lovely Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> Crispiness to the outside of it. <laughs> and aren't the noodles cooked beautifully? I didn't try it. You can give me your noodles. Oh, so nice. Oh, mm. yeah, that fish is just gorgeous. How are you going to slip these noodles up holding that bone? Let's pretend it's spaghetti, shall we? There you go. Do the best you can. Okay. Right. <laughs> Mm. Oh. <laughs> I wish you could see the mess Andrew's mm. making. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Cook beautifully. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, that's our dinner tonight, and it was done in 25 minutes, you know, under half an hour, and it's just, just delicious, you know. Without a thermomix, could you do all that? Yeah, probably. But you'd be making a huge mess. You'd have so many pots and pans out of the way. You'd have a chopping board where you'd be cutting up all of these bits and pieces. Thermomix does all that for us. So there you go. That's me tonight. My name's Colette McTriga. And um, thank you, Andrew, for being on the camera tonight. So you're very welcome, Colette McTriga. To um, catch up with you next time. So can't hang around tonight. We've got to have, I'm looking forward to this. This is very tasty. Excellent. Bye-bye. Mm.